holidays, New Year, and honestly 2021 just in general was for me at least, for my wife and I especially, a huge year of change, of uncertainty, of really just rolling with the punches that life was throwing at us and adapting, being flexible being understanding and accepting and accepting that we may have <laughs> a lot less control over our lives than we think we do that illusion of control I think I might be next to a, a nest I'm getting dive bombed can I control that no I can't can politely ask it to bugger off. Whether or not it will is another question. It's coming in for another. I guess what I was trying to say is that we have a lot less control over what happens in our lives than we think we do. And the new year is really like this time where, you know, obviously there's new year's resolutions, there's goal setting for the next year. And while I think a lot of that is healthy and good, how many of us actually stick with the resolutions that we set? Come up with this big list and we'll say, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z. Or it's usually A, B, C, D, all the way through to X, Y, and Z. A week, two weeks, a month into it, we find ourselves back at the same place we started. And I guess what I'm learning through this whole journey is that being here now, accepting of who we are now at this juncture in our lives is a powerful, potent tool. We can use that to kind of just come to terms with who we are, where we are. But that doesn't mean that we can't make positive changes to actuate and kind of set a course for our future. You know, I've heard thrown around a lot this phrase, which is essentially like, you are what you are doing now. And your life is what you did today and what you do in this moment. And I guess like what I'm learning is that, you know, obviously if you watched my last video, um, there are some difficult things happening with my family. Um, we wanted to make it over to the States to, to be with family, but that didn't work out. And I'm looking back at it now and it almost feels like, in a way, some kind of divine intervention, the way that it all unfolded. We were pulling up to get our pre-departure COVID test and get a text message from my family saying, have you seen the news? And essentially, we were right about two minutes away from going and beginning that process of leaving New Zealand and a lot of changes happened. Things happen in life for a reason. We don't really understand why when it's happening. Oftentimes, if we reflect on how things unfold, we can see that those things happened for a good reason. And I'm here now, I'm enjoying being here now, and I'm excited and 
really just feeling motivated to continue building this community here on this channel, to continue to create and find meaning in the world around me and to try to capture it and share it. Because I think at a very fundamental level, humans, we want to share, right? We want to be a part of community. We want to share what we have with others and make sure that others are doing well and kind of lift everybody up, right? A rising tide floats all boats. And so this year on this channel, I want to do just that. I want to have more time in the outdoors with all of you. I want to share my thoughts and opinions and feelings more openly here in an authentic, raw fashion. I want to continue to improve my videography, my storytelling, but I want to speak from the heart more than ever before. And I want to be real with you. And I think that this last year in 2021, I was finding that path but I feel a sense of clarity here at the top of 2022, at the top of the new year, that I haven't felt before in my entire life. And I'll be honest, it feels really good. But it's required a lot of acceptance, um, of letting go of the reins, if you will, and just easing into the current of this river of life instead of trying to swim upstream and fight it, just going with it and being accepting of where it takes us. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. There's more content coming. One of the things that I wanna do on the channel this year more than ever is I wanna go through my large catalog of years of travel. I think I've been to probably 50 or 60 countries and documented my, my travels there. I want to, take those experiences and I want to boil them down and I want to package them up and I want to present them to you in the form of travel tips videos, um, experiential kind of visual storytelling videos and just follow my intuition and my motivation and see where it takes us all. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of that content and I'm going to be kind of giving that a balance with the content that you've come to expect on this channel, the home renovations. There's still a lot that we are doing with our homestead here in New Zealand. We've accomplished a lot, but there's still a ton to do. And I'm excited to take you all with on that journey as we continue to build this dream life of ours down here in the countryside of New Zealand. I'm also gonna be doing more of these sit down chat videos um, you know I'm not a philosopher but one of my relatives was a philosopher he was a professor of philosophy at UCLA um, that was my great-grandfather and way back when you know my mom she is she's been so diligent and so obsessed with like finding out our ancestry. She actually found that we were related, um, not by blood, but through marriage, to Ralph Waldo Emerson. So if you know anything about his writing, his essays on self-reliance, um, I think that those thoughts and teachings have definitely influenced my worldview. But I don't know, I think that um, it's fun to talk about life and experiences and trying to find meaning because I think that all of us out there, especially in this modern world, many of us are struggling to find meaning. <clears throat> and it's not easy to talk about because it's not something that society wants us to talk about. You know, the, the mainstream society is like, oh, you don't have to talk about that. You don't have to think about that. Just like buy some new stuff and you'll feel all right. But like, I think that there's something deeper that needs to be discovered. I'm kind of beginning to sense and learn that it's already here. Like it's here, it's here, it's everywhere that you are. Um, but it requires this like perspective shift to see it. So 
yeah, those are my thoughts about 2022. I'm hoping that things will get better around the world. I'm hoping that, I know that right now it's still pretty crazy out there, pretty hectic, but I think that I have a feeling that good things are coming and I'm just gonna run with that. I'm gonna follow that feeling and follow that intuition. And I wish you all tons of happiness and success. But more than anything, I just wish you all a sense of balance and love and compassion. And yeah, just happiness, because it's out there. And uh, I think it's our duty here on this planet to find it. Um, and maybe, maybe it's already there inside, within. So, yeah, post-surf philosophical conversations in beautiful places. That's what makes me happy, the beginning of this year. And yeah, I'm just wishing you all the best. I would love to hear from you out there. Please feel free to share your intentions for 2022. When we share things publicly, it, when we put it out there into the universe, it does have this strange effect of actually making those things more real and giving us more of an incentive to, to actualize those. So feel free to share down there in the comment section, what are your intentions for this new year? And I will see you in next week's video. Sending you all lots of love, peace. See you in the next one. Let's not say bye Let's say hello It's been some years Letting go That's just the way You make me feel My heart is yours you don't have to steal Let's not say bye Let's say hello I love you dear Anywhere you go Leaves fall slow What once was Can't stay there Cause time's not Let's not say bye Let's say hello I love you dear Anywhere you go say bye let's say hello I love you darling everywhere you go that's just the way that you make me feel cause my heart is yours